Hey everybody, it's your favorite nobody from Canada here at Powerhouse 1996. Today's a very special day. I finally, with this package right here, have completed my Grand Theft Auto collection. Now initially I was going for all black labels. As you can see, I got a majority of the black labels here. All these are the originals. Um, so I wanted to go through them. Well, excluding... Uh, both these PS1 games, which is in here, and this one. Um, so you probably can guess, because I have the original Grand Theft Auto there, you probably can guess it's in this package already. Uh, or if you're an idiot and haven't read the title and just clicked on it because you saw GTA, then good on you for not reading what this video was. No, seriously. Thank you. Um, so, uh, before we get into the package down here, and sorry about the shaky video. All my good cameras are are dysfunctional, and my laptop crapped out. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. Um, so, starting off, of course, you have the original GTA right here. Now, this is the top-down 3D GTA, as you can see with the screenshots here. Uh, this is the second release. This is the greatest hits release. There was a third re release. Uh, which was the collector's box set, which unfortunately is really expensive now. It's like going for upwards of 50 bucks, and for a game that's not mediocre at best, of course, it's iconic now, the original Grand Theft Auto, for a series that was mediocre at best on the PlayStation, at least in my opinion, um, yeah, not something I really wanted to pay for, but then I found the GTA 2, which is in here, uh, the Greatest Hits version, uh, with that said, I guess I should attempt to open this package. Uh, I do have my scissors here. Let's, let's try to do this. I only have one hand because I'm holding my camera in the other, so this is going to be interesting. Try not to scratch the table. See if I can... Oh, fuck. The CD's right there. I'm going to have to cut from this end. Let's cut the CD case. <laughs> can you imagine I break it before I even get it open? That would be embarrassing. Um, okay, we've got a little bit of a tear here. I'll try to keep this camera as steady as possible. Well, that's not gonna work. Uh, doing this one-handed is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, I got this... early this month. That was my first purchases of 2018. Sorry, just trying to get that freaking bubble wrap again. I'm using one hand. Oh, God. Uh, trying not to show the slip with my address on it. Hopefully I didn't cut the receipt. Man, this is extremely difficult with only one hand. I'm trying to keep the stamp camera. Oh, jeez, looks like I did cut the receipt a bit. Whoops, looks like I didn't cut into the important part of the receipt. Anywho, got to push that receipt back so I don't cut it up any further. I'm just gonna crinkle it up there. Uh, I could tear it open. I think. Oh no, this is way too thick. Um. Erg. Again, I'm only I'm holding my camera with this hand. Uh, it's not the easiest, so I really apologize. Normally I would have this down on the table, but... Mind, this wasn't predicted to come until next month, so I wasn't expecting to do this video. I literally just got done taking a shower. So... No, I got clothing on. Keep your pants on, ladies. God damn! If they made this package thick enough... There we go, Jesus, Pete. Okay, now we can get in here. Holy Hannah, sorry. Again, I know, the camera. I'm sorry. Again, it's my computer down. Not much I can do. Oh, wait a second. Wait, homie. It's actually sealed? This was supposed to be used. Homie, what? 
Hold up. Yeah, I don't want you guys stealing my address. Screw you. Hold up. It's actually sealed. What? I did, just to clarify, I did not pay for a sealed copy of this. I know it's the greatest hits copy, so it will be freaking due, but ladies and gentlemen, holy Hannah. Oh, it's not sealed. It's just an extra bag. <laughs> I got excited there for no fucking reason at all. But yeah, as you see, it's GTA 2. Again, the greatest hit series. This came uh, both of these, uh, GTA 1 and GTA 2, the greatest hit series, came around the release of GTA 3. So, 2001. So these aren't the originals. The originals are hard as balls to find. Uh, and if you have the originals, great on you. Good on you. Um, whatever. Um, but yeah, so let's out of the case. Actually, before we get that out of the case, I'm going to show you guys something I find very interesting, particularly about the greatest hits versions of these two games. Now, I'm not sure if the same ads within this one, but if I open up this case, uh, as you can see, Grand Theft Auto 3 was going to have a very, 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 very different logo when it was in development. And as you can see, Look at the camera, I hit the camera's focus, shit. Sorry guys. Um, as you can see, it was going to have a much more cartoony shade, you can see in this screen screenshot, particularly right here. But yeah, so I thought that was kind of interesting. It gets to show you that it was going to go for a more cartoony shading. Uh, and just the bridge and everything. Does it, it doesn't look like the game that we remembered, especially with that logo. That logo... What was Rockstar thinking? <laughs> like, and now we got this iconic logo, which we all know and love to this day. They still use it. But, like, by golly. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, in the booklet. Again, sorry, doing this one handed. Ah, sh the case fell off. The case is really old, so you know it's bound to happen eventually. This is what the inside of the booklet looks like for the Greatest Hits Edition. You got some notices, warnings, etc. Um, the, the PlayStation setup. Something that you might find interesting when this game released. The DualShock didn't exist, so this is what the controller looked like. I used to have PS1 controllers when I used the PS2. When I, when I had my PS2, sorry. Uh, and I had these controllers. Because I actually prefer the standard controller. And if a PS2 game supported it, I would actually play it on the standard controller. Because I just liked it. The on and off function, the it just screams original. Let me try to see if I can put this case back together. Um... So yeah, this is the greatest hits version of the original Grand Theft Auto. Again, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. I have to repeat that. So I'm going to go, why is the camera so shaky? Well, sorry, I did this very off the cuff. Had no time to be effing around. But it's just about the uh, thing. So let's get the last piece of this. Um, homie, where did you seal this, bro? Oh, it's at the front here. So yeah, this is just, uh, it wasn't a factory sealed copy. I got myself way too excited there. That was hilarious. Good old laugh for you guys. <clears throat> oh, homie, excuse me. Just had a pop tear earlier. Eh. Eh. Put that over there. So yeah, here's GTA 2, which I just got today. As you see, the guy did describe it has a little bit of a crack on the top. This came from Colbeck. Yeah, and there's the there's the advertisement on the inside. Oh, look, the peg fell off. Oh, well. Um, Vegas can't be chooses, you know. Uh, so, yeah, as you see, this also came out around Grand Theft Auto 3. Same screenshots. Nothing different. Uh, of course, different game. This is arguably the better, the better version of Grand Theft Auto on the PlayStation 1. Take it or leave it. I haven't played the game, so I can't tell you too much about it. Respect is everything. 
yeah, there is a huge, like, marketing campaign behind this. Obviously, with the success of the original, it was bound to have a better campaign, etc. Uh, yeah, so I finally got, after all this time, I finally stuck up the money and got GTA 2. And I wanted to correct myself on a previous statement that I got a lot of hate about. And I apologize in hindsight, it wasn't a smart idea to comment it. I made a comment about eBay's policies. And this was going back two, three years ago. I didn't have the greatest experience with eBay. This is my first purchase off eBay, and I'm genuinely shocked how much better eBay is. So for those who really hated that statement, I'm sorry. I judged a lot of people wrong. I just ran into way too many problems with them, misshipping packages and stuff. So eBay, this is your chance to prove me wrong. If this continues to be good, I might be buying both off eBay and Amazon. Uh, obviously, eBay for the more harder to find stuff. Because in Canada, unlike the States, this isn't a very, neither of these games are very common. What I find interesting is how this one got a T rating and this one has an M rating. I just noticed that now. Do you see that? Rated T for teen. That is peculiar. Huh. Anyways, moving on. Uh, GTA, the copy of GTA, so, something a lot of people don't realize when it comes to GTA 3 in particular, when trying to find the original, it's very comp complex, because there's been so many re-releases of this game. Well, that's actually, again, a total of three re-releases, or four if you, if you count the Xbox versions, which, uh, if you don't know, GTA 3, Vice City were initially, uh, and 3 and Vice City were initially released exclusively for the PlayStation, and then during the time of San Andreas' release, they released it on both PlayStation and Xbox. Of course, even with the PlayStation versions, um, I believe PC versions, uh, play, sorry, PlayStation 2 versions, PC was also released. So, it wasn't exactly exclusive, but for consoles, it was exclusively on PlayStation. Which is not the case anymore, since San Andreas. Um, back to what I was trying to state is a lot of people don't understand what the original Black Label is. Now it's extremely frustrating when you call into when you call into stores looking for the original Black Label, and not even the people know what the fuck you're talking about. They see the oh the Black Label. That's what he's talking about. But no. The original Black Label has the DMA Design Limited logo and Renderware and Take Two. And the later ones, it's Rockstar, Rockstar North, Take Two, and doesn't even have the Renderware Engine logo. So, this is what the original packaging looked like. See if I can focus in here. I'm trying to get too much glare. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's the case. But yeah, that's, that's what it is, people. That's the original one. It has a DV ROM logo. Like, this is this is the original copy. The the second black label copy that people get confused, which is not the original black label, has part of a set not for resale because the second edition of this set uh, came out on PlayStation. It was in a, like a little box. You, the, it's cheap. You can get it. You don't need to do the whole black label. I, I stopped doing the black label because I just realized, fuck it. Um, <clears throat> moving on. Um, this is Vice City. Doesn't need an introduction. Excellent game. Uh, arguably the best version of GTA. Uh, I would love to see GTA 6 being held in a modern day Vice City, which, with that said, I would like to make a very strong prediction here. Um, I first posted this on up on the memo. I think I tweeted it out on my old Twitter account, but uh, previously I stated the reason I think... Uh, the next game is going to be in Vice City is because why would they put it back in London since they haven't done it since the 90s? They didn't even put it into 3D London. So it's just, it's pointless. They're probably not going to do that. Most likely GTA 6, judging by the last two games being GTA 4 right there and 5, which are um, then modern day Vice City, which was 2008 when that game came out, and modern day uh, San Andreas when the original PS3 version and Xbox 360 versions of GTA 5 came out, which was in 2013. Um, so I think whenever GTA 6 does come out, I have a strong belief that 
they're going to be going to Vice City. Just on, and it's going to be modern day Vice City. Isn't going to be like a 90 sort of thing like they did with San Andreas and that. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Um, if that does become the case, I'm record, just to state this, I'm recording this in 2018. If that becomes the case, so be it. Um, <clears throat> moving on. Uh, so this is the original Vice City. Oh, oh, something I forgot to show off is that all my PS2 games, oh look, I still have the original receipt for this. That's actually kind of cool. I uh, didn't even know I still had the original receipt. Uh, I have the, both the map and the, and the, uh, and the guide, booklet, whatever you want to call it. Manual. Sorry, I forgot what it's, I forgot what it's called there for a second. This is, you don't see manuals in games anymore, just forget what it's called. Uh, all the versions. Now this one I got for free from one of my friends. I really hope that's a pudding stain or a coffee stain, not a shit stain. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know if that's a shit stain or... Uh, moving on. <laughs> um, that's my roommate Ken that was laughing, if you guys can hear him. Um, yeah, it has its map still intact. Again, this is a really exciting video, and yeah, sorry if it's... It is going, it is going a little bit longer than I normally would. So I'm gonna move on. Map, booklet, complete, you know, black label, original release. Uh, then we got the original release of San Andreas. That's had a collector's edition, which, if I ever can find it cheap enough, I do plan to get the collector's edition, because it has a cool bonus DVD that has what's called the Lowriders film on it, which I thought was pretty damn cool back in the day, and I still think it would be pretty cool to have it. Or if you happen to have that copy and are willing to give it to me for free, not not saying you have to, I'll be willing to pay uh, for shipping and, and stuff. Let me know that in the comments. I'd love to buy that off of you. So we got San Andreas, Vice City, GTA 3, 2, and 1 so far. Oh yeah, and as I stated with the last two, the, the booklet and the map. The map's not in the best of condition on this one, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? Uh, moving on, the two much more harder to find versions of um, the PS2 series, and uh, quite frankly, these are ports from the PSP, so take it as you will. Of course, with it being a more powerful home console, uh, sorry about my hand getting in the way there for a second, uh, <clears throat> of course these being on a more powerful console, these are arguably the best versions of these games. You got Liberty City Stories. Uh, which was, I think, very recently ported over to Android and iOS. I don't, I don't have iOS, so I don't know about that. Uh, still waiting for this game to get ported over before I buy the whole series on Android, because I think it would be cool playing Grand Theft Auto, particularly the PS2 series, on the go, but I'm not going to bite the bullet until this is released, so Rockstar, come on, hurry the fuck up already. Um, <clears throat> again, these are complete... Uh, with the map and the booklet. Uh, little interesting fact, uh, when I bought this off of Amazon, it came with uh, a, a French map. Uh, let me let me explain this. Back in the day, particularly in 2006, uh, I'm just trying to get the map open to the point where I can show you guys. Uh, sorry about the shaky camera. Try to see if I can stabilize it. Um, yeah, as you can see, most of the pay, it says pay and spray, and then it's like, all in French, which, if you know me at all, I don't do Francais. I probably just pushed that too. Sorry, Franken-phones. I offended you, I apologize in advance. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, that's complete, um, this is also complete... Yeah, so that's the that's the PS2 series of games. That's the PS1 and PS2 series of games. That pile's falling over. Uh, oh, sorry, shaky camera. I really apologize. Um, so yeah, I got GTA 1, GTA 2, 3, Vice City, San Andreas, Liberty City Stories, and Vice City Stories. Uh, moving on to... 
the modern era, or as well known, better known as the HD Universe games. Starting off, of course, the original Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, this is actually the original casing, too, which has... Not sure if you guys... You got, yeah, you guys will be able to see it. As you can see, it says PlayStation 3. A lot of people don't realize that these older PlayStation 3 games, like the ones that have like the, the Spider-Man font, as it was called, because um, actually they were the first bundle of the PlayStation 3, believe it or not, was the original Spider-Man movie. Uh, so yeah, that was the first bundle. It wasn't even a video game. So that's why they called it the Spider-Man font. Um, a lot of people aren't aware of that. Uh, of course, this is the original release, the last-gen release of uh, Grand Theft Auto V, uh, PS3. This is uh, the only game in this collection that I'm missing the map. I did get this for free, so no complaints there. I can always get a map from my local game store for like 50 cents. The guy allows you to take the books and stuff. Uh, this one's complete. This is obviously the modern release, PS4 for me. Um, uh, complete with the map. So yeah, they, ooh. Um, there you go, guys. Uh, the all the Grand Theft Auto games to date. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for all your support. Uh, I know I haven't been posting much, and this year m my setup, my gaming setup over there. Uh, we'll be having a lot of changes this year. As you can see, I was playing Minecraft earlier before I took a shower. Um, and my final setup back there. Um, um, are going through a lot of major changes. So, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, and thank you once again for all your support. This is Powerhouse 1996. <sighs> Sorry about the shaky camera. Over and out.